Hello, we're going to be doing calculating distances using latitude and longitude. I'm going to be using this map here, okay, and we're looking at it remembering that we have zero degrees down through Greenwich in London right here, and that's called the prime meridian because it's a meridian and it's prime. And we've also got the equator that goes around and it's zero degrees. And everything that is away is south of the equator, everything this way is north, everything that way is east of the prime meridian, and everything that is this way is west. Okay, let's go and do a question. Find the distance between these two points. Point A, 150 degrees east, and 20 degrees south, and point B, 35 degrees south, 150 degrees east. Well, the first thing we do is check for anything that is the same, and these two are the same. So we know that it's going to exist on 150 degrees east, which is in the middle of those times. Okay, so it's going to be down right through here. Let's have a look at where they'd be. So 20 degrees south, which means we're on this line here, but we're 20 degrees south. So there's 10, and here is, oh no, it's on this one. Yeah. Okay, so it is actually on that. And then we've also got 35 degrees south. So 30, 35, there we go. So the distance between these two points here. Okay, you can see they're on the same line of longitude. And line of long, lines of longitude are all the same length. Okay, so all we need to know, is, all we need to do is go work out the difference between them. And we can see that they're on the same side of the globe. See how this both on the southern hemisphere? Okay, so to work out the difference, yeah, I'm going to change pen. Okay. Our latitude is uh, going to be 35, take away 20. Yeah, 35, take away 20, equals 15 degrees. So we know that those two points are 15 degrees apart from each other. Okay, right there. Now, because it's a line of longitude, remember that 1 degree equals 111. 2 kilometers. So all we have to do is 15 degrees times 111.2. So distance equals 111.2 kilometers times latitude difference, which is 111.2 times 15, which is One thousand six hundred and sixty eight kilometers. Okay, so that's the distance between those two points. Next question Find the distance between these two points. Okay, again, check for something that's the same. These two are the same. So it's going to be on the same line of one and two. Let's have a look at where they be though. So this one here is actually 20 degrees north. So there. And the next one is 20 degrees south, so there. Now, you've got an issue here, because one of them is above the equator and one of them is below the equator. So we need to work out what the distance is, the number of degrees are in between them. Okay? So, you just need to think, if this is zero, think about it in terms of like positive and negative numbers. This is 20 above, this is 20 below, What's the difference between them? Well, 20 that way, 20 this way, it's going to be 40. So, we'll do this again. Latitude difference. Equals, and in this case it's going to be 20 plus 20. Okay, which makes it 40 degrees. Okay, then, same deal. 
we have distance equals um, 111.2 kilometers times what our distance is. Okay, so lap difference, which is 111.2 times 40. Okay. Four thousand four hundred and forty eight. Four thousand four hundred and forty eight kilometers. Easy. Okay. Next up. Find the distance between these two points. So we've got twenty degrees south, fifty degrees east, and twenty degrees south, seventy three degrees east. So now we've got the first number is the same. Okay, so it's going to be on the same line of Latitude, they're both going to be on this one. So let's go and have a look at where they'd be. Well, they're both on 20 degrees south. This one's 50 degrees east, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees there. Okay. And then the next one is 73 degrees. So uh, 60, 73 degrees. So they're in the middle of the ocean. Okay, so we're trying to find that distance. Now, See how they are both in the southern hemisphere? That makes it a bit easier for us, okay? Because the difference between these two is going to be the distance. So we've got, remember, we've got latitude, difference is going to be 73 degrees, take away 50 degrees because they're both on the same side of the earth. Okay, so we've got 73, take away 50, is going to be 23 degrees. Now, each of these lines of latitude are all a different length. So one degree is going to be slightly different on each one. So we have to put in like a scaling factor. Okay, so what that means is distance equals, and we start off the same, 11.2 kilometers times what our latitude is, latitude difference is, times cos of the latitude. Okay, so it becomes 111.2 times 23 degrees times cos of the latitude, which was 20 degrees south, equals 11.2 times 23 times cos 20. That's not right. We might do cos 20 first. Cos 20. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Times, this is 23 times. Just because I'm using a basic calculator, it's harder. That looks better. Okay. 2,403. Point three five seven, so three six, and we'll turn that into a wavy kilometers. Okay, let's try another one. Find the distance between these two points. First thing you can see, our latitude's the same. Same latitude, twenty degrees south. Now let's have a look. We've got hundred degrees west, so we're going to start at zero on twenty degrees, and we're going to go hundred degrees. West, which is right there. That's sort of like where. Um, uh, actually, there's nothing there. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> and then we're going to go 20 degrees south, 73 degrees east this time. So we're going to go over here. 73, so about there. Okay, so we're trying to find this distance. Okay. Now, 
we need the difference between them. Okay. But if we have a look at the difference, one's on this side of the prime meridian. Okay, so it's 73 degrees this way. And one of them is this side of the prime meridian, and it's 100 degrees that way of it. Okay, so it's like sort of like positive ding dong numbers again. You've got 100 on this side, you've got 73 on this side, so the total distance between them is going to be adding them 173 degrees. Okay, now we just go distance equals um, what we had, 111.2 times um, our distance, 173 times cos of the latitude, because we're on a different, same latitude, cos latitude, and we get, no, i got to do cos first, cos 20, ah, oh, okay. Times one seven three times one 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 point two one eighteen thousand and seventy seven kilometers eighteen thousand and seventy seven point four three kilometers rounded so wavy okay there we go last question. Same latitude plus shortest distance. Okay, find the distance between these two points. Let's go and have a look. 20 degrees south, 100 degrees east. It's right here. Um, actually, that should be west. My mistake, that should be west. 20 degrees south, 100 degrees west is going to be over here. Now, let's go and do this. We're going to have latitude difference. Okay, is going to be well. This one's this way 100. This one's that way 100. So it's going to be 100 plus 100 equals 200 degrees. Now, here's the thing: the globe is only 360 degrees wide around. Okay. So you're going 200 degrees. You're going from like here to here, but you're going up to like there. You're going that way, which isn't the quickest way. It's actually quicker. So this path is not the quickest way. It's actually quicker for us to go this way and come back around to there. So all we're going to do is, okay, we'll write down shortest distance. And all we do is take that away from 360. Okay, 360 take away 200. Okay, so it's only going to be 160 degrees instead of 200 degrees, the shortest route. Okay, and then we just do exactly the same thing. Okay, because it's the same latitude, we're going to need to do the cost trick. So I go distance equals 111.2 times our difference times our latitude cost equals, now I'll remember this time, 20 cos times 160 times 111.2. Okay, 16,719. 16,719.01 rounded so, mm, mm, kilometers. Okay. Then the only difference with that one was that because that was over this number here was over 180, okay, over 180, we actually do this extra step, taking it away from 360 because over 180 degrees you're going around half the world, it's quicker to go the other way. Okay, that's it. Thank you.